I usually save this at the end for the thumbnail. Hey, wait, I don't have a turtle in here. It's one of the things that I'm missing. Here, let's do this. There we go. <laughs> I think I got one of everything in here. Wow. This actually isn't a very big toy haul, to tell you the truth. But maybe it's bigger than I think it is. This is like one of everything that I got. I kind of am gonna have to get this stuff out of the way if I'm going to talk to you and show you it all. There's some good stuff here though. It's really hard to know what to start with. I think there's a lot of toy talk that I can do here though. Because I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but maybe it'll be longer than I think because of everything I have to say. Classic Transformers at Walmart. They're really expensive and every time I see something, it goes right away. Even if I'm like in the store and I see like they've got all these toys, I come back I'm looking in the aisles, I come back and then it's all gone. Down to the logo, these are retro, retro awesomeness. Apparently there's four of these, but I've only ever seen three of them. And I have seen them at a couple different Walmarts now because I'm checking all the time, there's some great sets, but they're super expensive. Like this is small, but it's $12. But I was thinking about that and it's actually not that bad because a small figure, like if a reaction figure is $12, this is a Canadian price, mind you. So I don't know what that is in the States. Maybe you guys are paying 10. Our Walmarts are pretty awesome though because sometimes we get the American prices. So, you know, Walmart is kind of a great place to shop for toys, let me tell ya. I could have stopped saying let me tell ya. I like those. I really like the retro ones. There was this 99 set, I forget what its name is. Eight small robots that you build a giant robot. That was a hundred bucks. I really did consider that one. That I only saw online, but when I went back to buy it online, it was gone. And that's how these things are selling. If these have some die cast in them too, if there's some metal going on, then I guess this is worth the $12. Anyway, it's so retro-y and it just reminds me of the 80s and it's pretty awesome. I doubt it that I'll open that. I am getting quite an extensive 80s reproduction toy collection though. I might have to show you that soon. I've got Moshi Shees and Ninja Turtles and Strawberry Shortcake. I think I'm gonna open up the Strawberry Shortcake. Some classic Barbies. Um, I just got Glowworm, who looks really cute. Masters of the Universe, of course. There's some other. Mr. and Mr. Potato Head. I think that's the new ones. I wish I would have gotten a boxed one. I missed it by a couple years. I did buy them once and I actually returned them to the store. Ever After High. Oh man. I went looking for the latest book and I noticed that it didn't come out on the release date that it was supposed to come out on. Now, I just buy these books. I haven't actually read any of them. Maybe I will now that there aren't anymore. I came home, I looked online and every like listing of it that it was not in stock. So they're not coming. So the Twisted, the new Twisted, what is it? Twisted Fairy Tales or whatever they're called. They're not coming out anymore. And then on Twitter, somebody asked a question about Ever After High and they said, Monster High is still alive, but Ever After High, the book is closed, I believe is what they said. Did I get these after that? This might just be a coincidence that I ordered these. On my last trip to the States, I was hoping I would go to Tuesday Morning or one of those off-price stores and find the Ever After Highs that people are finding. In fact, I found a Monster High that was the last Tuesday morning I went to. I forget to which set it was, but it was one that I was looking for maybe around Christmas maybe in October, November, when we start getting the Christmas stock at our off-price stores here in Canada, maybe these would show up, but they're no longer available on Amazon Canada. So I went to Amazon US and I did order them. They were a good price. So they weren't too much money. 
and I needed to finish this collection and this one, Canada never had this one available, so I thought I would pick it up too. I did get a good price on those though. Like I think they were like just over $10 each on Amazon. Which when that translates to shipping and Canadian exchange and they were a bit more than that, probably double to tell you the truth. But you do what you gotta do in Canada. And I get a lot of good deals anyway. Just lucky. It's very rare for me to be able to get these this fast. But I went to McDonald's and I got the full set of these Happy Meal, DC, Justice League. There's some cool devices and stuff here. I guess I'm not gonna give it away. I have the full set. So I don't know if people have done that. Am I lucky? Will I be one of the first people to do that? Maybe not. People really get on their Happy Meal toys. I don't normally like Happy Meal toys, and I've talked about this before, but this kind of spy gear or superpower gear or like superpower accessories, they seem kind of good. Glasses. Last time I got DC Superhero McDonald's toys was when they were glasses, and the glasses at McDonald's, I have said this before, are always awesome. So if you ever can get glasses, they make the funnest, best toys ever. Oh, I, I got a new uh, case for my, my iPad because I drop it all the time. I drop my iPad so often that I busted the Defender case. Actually, I dropped it so many times that it was damaged and then I dropped it and I actually cracked the glass. But luckily the glass that cracked is underneath. So my iPad looks like new now with this case on it. And this is the exact same case that I had on it before. This isn't a toy or anything, but it goes with me on all my toy hunts. My phone isn't working now, it's shutting off by itself, but I think it might be time for me to get a new phone anyway because I use an iPhone 4S, but I don't really use it. I basically just use it as a hotspot for my iPad because I need a big screen. Halloween is coming and new turtles are coming, so they mark down these I can't believe I wanted these for so long and I had a few opportunities to get these at different times. The opportunity never was right. Visiting the States, I did find them for like $5 before on clearance at Target. And I've wanted these for a good, I don't know, what was it, two years that these have been out? These will be fun to open during the month of October for Halloween. I just always thought they were really, really cool. They're just playful. There was a series like this, I believe, in the 80s or 90s. I think a fan favorite, but I love monsters. These look so good. So I did want that line, and they were marked down. They even were marked down again. I might price adjust them at Toys R Us because they just got in all the new turtles. If you haven't checked out my new 2018 turtle collection, check out those videos because I like them. You can't go wrong with Spin Master Playmates. The quality is just really good. Always really, 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 really impressed with them. Today, I took some stuff back. I bought some doubles because I had some wonky eyes on some toys, so I had some other ones to return that I had bought previously. I didn't plan on buying anything today. I'm trying to be really good and I have been. This has been over a long period of time, so it's not too bad. Today I picked up two things that were unresistible because they were things that I wanted. Well, this was something that I was waiting to get. I was just waiting to find it for a good price. I was hoping to find it for like $10 one day. I didn't get to pay $13.50 because I don't have a club, but I paid $15 for it. Which is good because in Canada, it's normally around $25, 20 or $25, depending on what store you buy it at. So it's one of the vehicles that my grocery gang characters, the action figures, actually fit in. So it's the last vehicle that I don't have. So now I have every character and every vehicle for the action figures. I also have the Grocery Mart, but that was released before they even had action figures, but it fits the action figures perfectly, so I'm glad I have that too. But this was actually made to fit the action figures. See, it says that you can play with it with your action figures. So it's good. Now I have every action figure vehicle 
and I have every single grocery gang action figure ever made. Oh, except for the new line is out now and people are getting them, but we don't have them yet in Canada. That is the one thing that I do go to Toys R Us constantly to check for. We used to get the grocery gang before anybody else here in Canada, but recently, yeah, they're getting them in California way before we are getting them. This was the other thing I got today at Walmart. It said $9 and I was like, what? And I always wanted to get one of these Disney sets. I don't remember which furniture I like better, the Belle or the Cinderella. I think it was the Belle because I think there's a lot of translucent things, which is really cool. And it's just like castle stuff. So anytime that anything looks like castle, I'm obsessed with castles. So it has a lot to do with the Ever After High thing too, because they're princesses. They just want to live in a castle. I went to a comic convention. Oh, there's so many things to say about the comic convention. I did take footage. I don't think I'm gonna show it. It just felt so gross. There's a desperation at comic shows. For some people, it probably is their livelihood and they just wanna make a sale. It's kind of depressing to me. But, I mean, I don't know. There was cool things to see. Maybe I'll compile the video. I don't know. Everybody's marked up and they're really desperate. Yeah, I don't... I got two Masters of the Universe things. I got this, which I had in my Amazon for a long time just to add, but I got this for $9.99, so $10 is awesome for this, considering I think it's... Does it say the value? All I know is I stopped buying the comic books because it was just too hard to keep up, or if I went away, I would come back and the comic books would be sold out. The same thing happened with the latest ones. It's Masters of the Universe versus, I guess it's a DC group this time. Anyway, I missed all of these. So what I found is instead of collecting the comic books, it's better to wait for these trade books instead. And then it's much easier to read them too even though I've never read any of them. Well, I might have read the ones way back when the Mike Young cartoon was on, but these ones I haven't been reading, but I'm going to. I'm gonna read that. But I'm glad that I have that anyway, because I got a good deal on this. This is bittersweet. It was really fortunate. The two basics that I'm missing from these loyal subject blind boxes are these two characters. I did realize, I mean, I asked the vendor, are they in different colors? This is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive one from 2016. I love these figures so much. I think that they're some of the best Masters of the Universe figures out there. I definitely love these better than the classics. These are the two that I'm missing, of the basic ones. I mean, the three chased ones, Evil Lynn, Tila, and Faker. I can't fun. I can't get. First of all, we didn't get these. I mean, we got them. We didn't get them at Walmart, like most people. We don't have targets here. Some comic book shops would get them. They would be $22 to $25 for one blind box, and you don't know what you're getting. I can't do that. That's crazy. I think the best price I saw for them was $18 each. That was the best price, $17.99. But with tax, that's 20 bucks. For one of these tiny little figures, and you don't know what you're getting, no. But I did find a few at off prices, and I was lucky to find this magical, it was like somebody had returned them to Value Village Savers, a thrift store, and they were in the showcase, and I went, oh, I'll get those, and they had like five or six dollars on them, and in each of the boxes were three figures each. Like, it was an amazing, like, God sent some awesome collector who just donated the figures that they had duplicates of. Like, that was so awesome for me to find that set. Did I just tell you that I found some of the off prices? I've also found a few, just probably three or four boxes at the off prices, and I managed to, I think, get two figures out of four of those. And they were like $6 each, so that was pretty good too. So I was lucky to find them out of, and then, oh, and then Brian and Veronica, awesome. They sent me some too, so that definitely helped. Thank you, Brian and Veronica. You guys are the sweetest. You guys are so always so nice to me. So out of all the ones that I got, 
these were the two that I was missing. They're a different color than the basics. I don't know, my OCD kind of says, oh no, I don't have the regular colors. Now the colors aren't off too much, I think. He has his reversed wings. And Man-at-Arms is missing some weapons. I believe he also had a pistol and a sword that he came with his figure. So I don't have those extra accessories. But it's okay. But it kind of defeats the purpose because I think one day I'm going to want to end up getting them anyway. And then, then I have these extra ones. And then if I have these extra ones, then I want to get the other San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Which there's another two-pack with Beast Man and one of the other characters <laughs> but that all being said if nothing else happens i will definitely be happy that i just have these two so i do have all of the characters except for the chase figures which are ridiculously and really hard to get enough about them i bought this i can't believe i bought this a giant playmobile house from spirit now this is one of the cartoons that i actually have watched and enjoyed it's really good. The last place that I bought from Playmobil was the Ghostbusters place. I didn't really care that it was the Ghostbusters place. I mean, I love the Ghostbusters movies. I haven't seen the last one yet. I think that's on Netflix. I could watch that. But I have seen this. Despite that, I didn't want to collect all the characters. At least with the Ghostbusters, I collected all of the sets so I could have all of the Playmobil characters. That was important to me. But with this set, it was about the house. And in the same way, just like the Ghostbusters fire station, it is a home that I would want to live in. Like, I would totally love to live in the Ghostbusters firehouse. That could be my home. This is another home that I love. Except I don't know about that pink gable. Why would you paint one gable on your house pink? I don't like the little painted details on the windowsills and stuff. I am hoping those are stickers. I don't put the stickers on my toys because I like them as simple as possible. But yeah, this looks awesome. See, there's stickers on the table that I don't want. That I'm pretty sure I don't have to put on. Look at that awesome stove. And then I got the bedroom set to go with it. Now this is the only other furniture set that you can buy to go with the house. So yeah, I have all the furniture that can fill up the house. Even though, once again, this isn't the exact style. Kind of a little too ornate for me. I guess Lucky might be richer than I would want to be back in the early turn of the century. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot this. On the same day that I went to the Comic-Con, before I went to the Comic-Con, I found this in a store, and it was marked half price of the lowest ticketed price from Toys, Toys, Toys. So the lowest ticketed price on it was $20. So that meant that I got this giant ship for 10, but it was in a giant box, an even bigger box than this is. So I took it out, I took out all the pieces yet to assemble this, and I did this before I even showed you. But anyway, so I had all of the pieces and I took them out of the box and I shoved them in a bag and I had to carry this around through the convention the whole time. Anyway, it wasn't really, it didn't end up actually being, she said that the $20 price on it was a mistake, but she gave it to me for, there was like a $25 ticket on it, but she gave it to me for 12, which I said, okay. Like I was planning on paying $10 for it, but $12 is still good, it's giant. I turned this down a few times because I did think it was made kind of cheap, but it's definitely made for that price. And I don't have a Jake in his captain outfit so that's awesome i don't know if jake the neverland pirates is still popular to this day all i know is it's one of my favorite cutest toys and i have a lot of play sets of that are up here and i often fantasize about not having any other toys or having a castle and in my living room i would have a glass display and I would just have the Jake and the Pirate toys in it because there's just something about them that I like. I guess they're the epitome of the perfect toy for me. I kind of, oh yeah. In a normal situation, like if I had a castle, it would be a zen, all nice and tidy, and I think I would probably just have a toy room instead of art. I would have toys in the house in places. Toys are my art. So that was my haul. That was the stuff that I got. 
it was a long time. I guess it wasn't that long since I went to, where did I go? I went to Pennsylvania. Yeah, I guess it wasn't that long, but I'm trying to be good. I don't think it was too much. Everything was on sale. Yeah, even the spirit stuff was on sale. That was the thing that told me it would be okay. So look forward to seeing that review up really soon. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Let's get my hands in here. Let's make this personal. Sure love toys. Let's let's see if I can get spirit. I want to I want to see the name spirit. There we go. And smile. I'm not really a smiley guy. Can you tell that that's a happy places over here? Can you tell that that's man at arms? Wow. Buy toys if they make you happy. It was a lot of fun for me to build this and put it together and not have to worry about recording the thing. Yeah, I just sat on my bed, followed the instructions. There was a lot to put together. That's one of my favorite things about toys too, is building them. And I never put the stickers on things. I wonder if I'll ever review this stuff. Nobody's really interested in Jake in the Pirates anymore. But you know what, if I do a big collection video, those ones seem to do okay. So maybe I'll do an epic Jake in the Neverland Pirates collection. And I want to definitely do a lot of Imaginext collections because I've got a lot of Imaginext. So I can do, I say this every time. You just come back and watch some more of my videos and you tell me what you want me to review. You can tell me anything back here. You can name any toy you want. You can name the toys that I bought today. You tell me what you want to see. Mind you, I'm only going to review the toys that I like, but I do like your input. And maybe you know toys that I don't know anything about, and then I can look them up, and I'll think that they're awesome. That actually happens a lot. Thank you guys for your toy suggestions. I gotta get better lighting, too. Or I could hold my head like this. Yeah, I gotta get... I gotta professional up this... See you later.